Howdy folks, this is Tony here, and in this video I'm going to offer three solutions that I think would permanently end the COVID crisis without forced masking and forced injections. Now, the first two suggestions have to do with reworking how corporate culture works, and the third suggestion has to actually do with the medical side of things. So let's get started. My first suggestion for how we get rid of COVID is to make most jobs virtual. If you work some kind of an office job, like say you're an accountant, or an actuary or something like that where you don't actually need to physically be there, then why not make the job virtual at least most of the days of the week? Now, obviously, you're going to have to meet at least one day out of the week for company meetings or something like that because Zoom is not always as reliable as you want to be. You might have to be in the office, but why not just make most jobs virtual at least four out of the five days of the week? Because that would significantly cut down on loss of productivity because you're spending so much time in the commute. That commute is actually not so great for your health. You're sitting still in the car for an hour each way just to go sit still in your office. That's actually bad for your heart and shortens your lifespan. So why not just have most people who don't have to technically be there physically in person just work from home. And for those of you that are more carbon conscious, if you're not driving to and fro, spending several hours behind the wheel of your car, you're not polluting the atmosphere with the emissions of your vehicles as much. So there we go. Now we've also solved the carbon emissions problem without having to force everyone to buy an overly expensive electric car that's experimental technology that we can't all afford. So there you go. You just killed two birds with one stone. You just killed COVID and killed any kind of downstream environmental crisis that could have been created. So that's the first step. I would even go so far as to say school systems might consider making every Monday or making every Friday a virtual day. That would give the janitors more time to scrub down the building. That would allow the students not to congregate too much and have any kind of a super spreader type of event. So that is my first recommendation is making most jobs virtual. Most places in the country have some form of high-speed internet connectivity, so I definitely think it's possible. Step two, which also has to do with corporate culture, would be to have a fundamental change in how we do a sick leave policy. Because as it is now, most of the time if you take off because you're sick, it goes against your sick leave and you have less of it left. So what you end up essentially doing is rationing your sick days because you don't want to blow through them even if you're not feeling well. People have done this all over this country. I even have done it. I've had times where I did not want to waste my sick leave. So I persevered and showed up to work even though I had a fever. I persevered and showed up to work even though I had a cough or was not feeling well. I didn't make physical contact with anybody. I kept my hands washed, but I still persevered severe through that cough because I didn't want to lose any sick leave. And what can happen when you do that? You're going to get the entire office sick. That's going to make more people need to take off and ultimately cost more in productivity, which is why I would argue that if it's possible and if it's affordable, companies ought to move towards a policy that says, if you are sick and you can produce a sick note by a doctor proving that you were sick, we're not going to charge your sick leave or some kind of other fundamental change that would incentivize employees to actually take off when they're sick and not just persevere through even though they're not feeling well. This might even roll back beautifully into my first option of if that person's not feeling well, give them the opportunity to work virtually that day rather than come in so that they can actually save up their sick leave or their medical leave for something major like if they had a, if they, they have a baby or there's some kind of death in the family or something of that nature or the, if they have a sick relative that they need to take care of. So if less people force their way into work even though they're not feeling well, that would also slow the spread of viruses and germs throughout our country, and that would improve our national health. The third and final recommendation actually has to do more with the medical side of things, and that would be to invest in treatments and cures. Nothing protects you better than your natural God-given immune system. So if rather than forcing injections on people, which are showing some side effects, I want you to look into some of those side effects yourself. Don't just believe everything I tell you. Do your own deep research and don't just believe everything the next guy tells you. Look it up for yourself. Rather than forcing injections, why not focus on treatments that enhance the own the person's own immune system to allow them to recover from the virus themselves so that they now have gained immunity, they now have natural immunity, and that alone would eliminate this virus as a threat. 
focus on boosting immune systems, focus on curing it so that you don't have to wonder whether or not your treatment is going to work. You know it's going to work because it is a cure. Cure is the way to go, folks. And if we focus on those things, I believe we'd see a healthier country. We would see this behind us. We would see the end of forced masking, forced injections, all of that stuff, and get back to normal life. If you like my ideas, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you contact your local officials, be it your school board, be it your mayor, be it your senators, or whoever is leadership, and let them know of these ideas, and we need to spread this forth. We need to gain back freedom in our nation, but we also need to make sure that we go about it wisely. Have a blessed day, everyone.